Hi, this is Francisco Bijan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about spiritual power and the topic for this video is how can you see God in everything? This is another question that I got on my channel and uh, yeah, that's a very profound one that I think is maybe the ultimate goal of life actually, you know, to be in this state of unity, in this state of realization, self-realization all the time. So. Um, the first thing I want to do is simply put that question within a larger perspective. Because when you see seeing God in everything, you know, using your physical eyes or seeing or perceiving God in everything, it uh, contains something which is much vaster than that. And uh, again, it is the, probably the ultimate goal of existence, is to be back connected and feeling one with absolutely everything. So you have to realize that this is the goal of all spiritual pathways. Uh, you know, when you engage in yoga, for instance, when you engage in start practicing meditation, for instance, the goal is to go back to this sense of unity, experiencing unity, experiencing this connection, this sea of awareness and consciousness where you are linked with everything, all life force, you know. Imagine that you go through a forest and you perceive the life in everything, that you see this vibrating power in, uh, in everything that you touch, you, you feel the sense of connection. And when you are in that state of mind, you are in a state of unity. You are in a state of self-realization, which is the ultimate goal of every mystic. It is literally to reconnect with this sense of, of, um, of total connection with everything. And when you do that, what you are doing is you are stepping from uh, your individual consciousness or individual awareness to what we would call uh, universal awareness or you, your universal uh, perception or identity okay so when you start functioning from this um, this place of universal perception or universal awareness uh, you uh, you actually totally shift your perception from that because you see yourself not anymore as a individualized or separated being you see yourself within the play the larger play of forces and things you see your actions within a larger stream of actions. You perceive all that, you perceive the flow of energy, of energies and, and spirits and forces which are at play on this planet all the time. You start perceiving that a bit more than simply through your own individualized eyes. And uh, this in itself radically shifts the way you perceive life and existence from now on. So how do you get from a state of you know, uh, individual perception to a state of universal perception. Uh, how do you go to this kind of cosmic consciousness or cosmic awareness of life? You know, how do you shift from that? Well, what you have to do is train your mystical muscles. You know, that's one way of putting it. It means that you start practicing something which is, start, which is going to start opening your channels of awareness. And the best way, I mean, one of the, the ways, one of the techniques to do that is to start practicing a meditation that opens the third eye, for instance. And this in itself is going to start creating a new sense of awareness in your being, in your mind, that radically shifts the way you perceive life and existence in general. And that's one way, that's one pathway. But eventually, every single spiritual path, you know, whether you take, a, you know, the Sufi stream or the Buddhist or... Hindu tradition or Christian tradition or, you know, Muslim, all these traditions aim at the same thing, being one with God, being one with the Absolute. What does it mean? Does it mean that you are going to join forces with somebody who is sitting on a throne out there? Well, not really. What you are going to do is simply invite that reality into your life and realize that God is already present in everywhere, in everything, you know, in everybody. It's the reality that, that is permeating everything. And once you realize that, then you are in a state of total awareness and, and total self-realization. So that's, that's the way to go. Remember this thing, is that you have to open or strengthen your mystical muscle. That's what, how you can summarize it. It means that if you practice a certain technique of uh, awareness, you know, it might be prayer or meditation or, or you know, other dynamic techniques to, to, f to energize your body, mind and, and spirit. So if you start practicing that over a certain period of time, I would say that within two, three months, you can start having amazing results. It means that you can totally shift the way you perceive life and start positioning in yourself from a place of, um, you know, spiritual awareness. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.